Scientists have revealed something extremely strange about the nature of our universe. This new discovery directly challenges one of the most popular ideas of the 21st century, the simulation hypothesis, the belief that our entire universe might be a giant computer program. But here's the twist. Scientists now say the universe is not a simulation. Instead, the findings point towards something even more mysterious. The universe may not be logical or computational at its deepest level. That's right. This research does more than just reject the idea that we live inside a simulation. It also challenges our entire understanding of how reality works and whether the universe even follows computable, logical rules at all. Ever since humans built the first computers, we started believing something profound. Anything can be solved through logic, mathematics, and algorithms. And why not? Computers helped us solve problems that were once impossible. Then came quantum mechanics and later quantum computers, pushing this belief even further. With enough data and powerful machines, we can simulate almost anything. Today, we can simulate weather, planetary motion, the formation of galaxies, and even the evolution of the universe itself. These simulations are incredibly accurate, so accurate that scientists began asking, if we can simulate universe's evolution, could an advanced civilization simulate the whole universe? This simulation theory became popular from the work of philosopher Nick Bostrom, particularly a paper he published in 2003. This suggests it's possible that a more advanced civilization has already reached that point where they can simulate a complete universe and that we are inside one of their simulations. This idea felt powerful and intuitive. If a video game can simulate an entire world using simple rules, and if humans can simulate galaxies using equations, then maybe a super advanced civilization could simulate our entire universe. After all, in a video game, characters can only do what the physics engine allows. They cannot act outside the rules that the algorithm sets. Maybe our universe works in exactly the same way. Maybe everything, matter, energy, even consciousness is running on some ultimate algorithm. And this was the foundation of the simulation argument. Physicists, mathematicians, technologists, and computer scientists have jumped into this game. The argument for the simulation, I think, is quite strong. Because if you assume any improvements at all over time, any improvement, 1%, 0.1%, just extend the time frame, make it a thousand years, a million years, the universe is 13.8 billion years old. Civilization, if you count it, if you're very generous, civilization is maybe seven or 8,000 years old, if you count it from the first writing. This is nothing. If you assume any rate of improvement at all, then the games will be indistinguishable from reality, or civilization will end. One of those two things will occur. Therefore, Ultimate. we are most likely in a simulation. Opinions span a wide range of probabilities. Columbia University astronomer David Kipping tried to evaluate the odds we live in a simulation and came up with about 50-50 simulation theory implies there is a greater intelligence than our own that exists beyond the physical world and may have created our universe. Echoing foundational beliefs in many religious traditions, transhumanist philosopher David Pierce called Bostrom's argument the first interesting argument for the existence of a creator in 2,000 years. However, now, scientists have reached a completely different conclusion. Scientists have made some amazing points, which solve some problems but create even more problems to answer. Scientists recently proved that the universe cannot be a simulation because it cannot be fully computed. The deepest truths of reality are non-algorithmic, to reach this idea, researchers relied on powerful mathematical results, including Gödel's incompleteness theorems, Tarski's undefinability theorem, and Chaitin's information theoretic incompleteness. At first, these may sound like abstract mathematical concepts, but they have direct consequences for understanding the universe itself, and the simplified result is shocking. Consider this, as we know any logical system, 
any computer, any mathematics, any simulation will always contain truths that it cannot compute. This means a simulation cannot simulate every truth inside itself, a computer cannot compute certain outcomes, a logic-based universe cannot contain all truth, and some parts of reality are fundamentally beyond algorithms. Think about a simple calculator. It gives you the answer to 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, but it can only do that because someone programmed the rules, someone defined what one means, someone gave it the laws of arithmetic, and someone set the logic beforehand. The calculator does not discover truth. It only follows instructions. This is exactly what Gödel proved. Every logical system must accept some truths without proof, and some truths can never be proven from within that system. And this is the key point. A simulated universe must be perfectly algorithmic, everything must be computable, and everything must follow fixed rules. But the real universe contains truths, events, and outcomes that no algorithm can ever compute. This means our universe cannot be a perfect computer simulation, because simulations must be fully computable, and our universe is not. Dr. Mir Fazel, a physicist at the University of British Columbia, Okanagan, said in a statement that, We have demonstrated that it is impossible to describe all aspects of physical reality using a computational theory of quantum gravity. The fundamental laws of physics cannot be contained within space and time because they generate them. Therefore, no physically complete and consistent theory of everything can be derived from computation alone. This is the scientific explanation for why our universe cannot be algorithmic. A computer needs fixed, unchanging rules. But the universe does not behave that way. In our universe, new mathematical truths appear endlessly. Consciousness creates entirely new ideas. Quantum events produce outcomes no algorithm can predict. Physics itself may evolve over time, and space-time may not even be fundamental. This is not how a computer system behaves. Simulations are closed boxes. Everything inside must follow the rules exactly. But our universe seems far bigger than any box of rules. And here's something even more surprising. Proving that the universe is not a simulation does not prove that the universe is definitely real in the traditional sense. This suggests that the universe follows patterns, yet those patterns may not be the kind that computers or algorithms can ever fully capture reality, may follow principles that exist beyond logic, beyond computation, and beyond any system we can fully simulate. And this changes everything because this is not the end of the simulation debate. It is the beginning of a much deeper mystery, a mystery that challenges how we define truth, logic, mathematics, science, and even existence itself. What if the foundation of reality is not a computer, not a program, and not even pure mathematics, but something deeper, something that our current minds and machines cannot yet comprehend? The scientists suggest that we may be standing at the edge of a new kind of physics, one that reaches beyond computation, beyond simulation, and beyond human logic, and the true nature of reality may be waiting there, just beyond the boundary of what can be calculated. This is the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to share your opinion about this discovery.